Okay, so it's another bright, sunny, and cold day here in Florida. It's about 37 degrees this morning, and we're probably headed up to about 55 this afternoon. Starting to think about heat. So this is my DIY solar power system. I got a detailed series on exactly how I built it. So I'm not going to get into the details, but it is 8,280 watts on the collector. The inverter is 8,800 watts continuous, 16,000 watts peak, and it has a 740 amp hour battery bank. So today I'm not talking about how I'm going to run these big heat pumps on the solar. I'm talking about how I'm going to run two oil-filled electric space heaters on the solar to reduce how much we have to run those big heat pumps on the utility. So let's get started. So this is one of my two oil-filled electric space heaters. Not sure the brand on this one, but it's got three settings, uh, low, medium, and high. And I've got it connected to this kilowatt meter so we can see exactly how much they're pulling. So let's go ahead and switch this on to the first setting that's low. And take a look at the meter. Is in the 560s, 572. Okay, switch to medium. That jumps us up to 850s, 860s. Okay, and switch it to high, setting three. 1270s, 1280s. All right. So, so I've had this thing on for an hour or two, and let's see what how many kilowatt hours. 1.67 kilowatt hours so far. Okay, here's my second oil-filled space heater, electric space heater, and I moved my kilowatt meter down here. Put on the extension cord so you can see it. So I just plugged it in, so I got nothing yet. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on the first setting. And we've got about 600 and so watts. This is a different space heater, a little bit different, obviously. Okay, at the middle medium setting, we got 900 watts. And I'll switch it to high, and we got eh, around, around 1,400 watts on the high setting. Let's see if this should start climbing up. Okay, go. so this is a shot of the solar power system. This is over the surveillance video camera. So what we got is L1. This is the power being pulled on L1. This is L2, and the power being pulled there. And down here you can see this is the amount of power going into the batteries and we're 92% charged. So I've got a space heater over here, that's why it's up high. And this one's only at 230 watts running computers and stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the space heater to low. You see that jump up on the L2. And this will go down a little bit. Less power going to the batteries. Now there's medium. And here's high. So now we're down to 41 amps going into the batteries, and we're pulling, you know, 16 or 1700 watts on L2, and this is the same. So I have two of these space heaters, and I put one on the L1 and one on the L2 just to keep the load balanced. Oh, and the water heater just kicked on, so now we're up to about 7,000 watts. And the panel's supplying most of it, but we're using a little battery. Okay, so here's a table that summarizes some of the results, and you can pause and take a look if you like. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.